In this video, I will be silently installing Klight codec pack and I will use PSExec to execute the installation as a system account. And the main reason for that is that I want to make sure that the installation is successful no matter what user I'm using to deploy the software. And if you want more information about that, you can check out the video that I have here. I am also starting this video from my GitHub page because there are a few bits of information that I will be using for this video and I will leave the URL in the description down below. So now I will begin this video by downloading the codec pack and I will use the link that I have here that brings us to the download page for Klight. And in this video I will be using the standard version but other versions should work just fine. I will click on download standard and then I will select server 1. Now let's wait for our download to finish and let's go to our downloads folder. And here we have the executable that we will be using for this video, but I will be installing the software under a virtual machine. So I'll right click on the executable, click copy, go to my VMware workstation. And here I have a virtual machine with this software folder and I will paste the file here. And also I have psxec executable in the same folder. The next step for us is to open a command line, run it as administrator, click yes. And now we need to change the directory in our command line to the directory where we have our executables. So I will click here, copy the location, go back to my command line, type cd, paste in the location and enter. If I do there, now I see my executables in my command line. Also, if I type who am I, this command is saying that I am an admin user. Like I mentioned before, I will be executing the installation under the system account. So now I will use psexec and I will type psexec.exe minus i for interactive minus s for system user and we will start CMD process. Click enter, agree with the license terms. If I type here, who am I? It is saying that I am anti-authority system. Basically everything that I will be doing in this command line, I will be doing it as if I am system account. Now we want to change the directory to the directory where we have our executables once more. So I will type CD, paste in the directory, click enter. If I do there, we see our executables once more. The next step is to start the installation. So for that, I will go back to my GitHub page. And here I have the command that I will be using for this video. And here I'm starting the command with cmdc and this part is not necessary, but it allows us to see when the installation is fully done just by looking at the command line. Next, we are providing the executable name. And then I'm using a very silent switch and this is uh, the main switch that makes this installation the uh, silent installation. Then I'm using a no restart switch and this is basically me saying to the installer that I don't want the installation to reboot my computer after the install. So I will copy this command, go back to my virtual machine and then I will paste in the command here and click enter. And now we just need to wait for the installation to finish. The installation seems to be done. If I go to my start menu, all apps, scroll down a bit, we see our Klight codec pack. And it seems that everything is installed. We have our Media Player Classic. I will click on it and it runs just fine. And that's it for this video. In the future videos, I will show you how to deploy Klight codec pack using other deployment tools such as Group Policy. So like and subscribe if you want to see that. And see you in the next one.